hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, mm-hmm. TNT, a Dino, and a DHT. What up, Jonas? Oh, uh, dude, I have never been more prepared to make, <laughs> <laughs> to make these people learn I nothing about life, dude. <laughs> I feel like we're both underprepared. Oh, I told you that before we recorded, I had nothing this week. <laughs> This this week's podcast, this is number two of two for this week. Two of and two. And we are bringing hot fucking garbage to y'all, dude. Hot fucking trash, dude. dude. it trash? is the trashiest garbage of my life. I've got some trash for you. Yeah, dude. You but you know, I do want to thank you all for joining us if you have been listening because we love you. <laughs> right? Speak for yourself, you, Jonas. You hate when I do that. <laughs> uh, please subscribe to us on Crazy Town Media on YouTube. Sorry. That's where you're watching. If you're watching in Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, you know, I bet you in a bunker somewhere, all they have is an MP3 player with all our episodes on it. Dude, that would be great. And they just like constantly watched them over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, I need you guys to do that. Yeah, dude. I think you should uh, delete everything off your phone. Yeah. Download all the MP3s of our episodes. Yeah. And just listen to those all the time. Do Do you know what number podcast we're on? This is just like a quick This look. is actually episode 150. So 150, and they go, they were going like, like you, it's a lot. That's a lot of time. Oh, yeah. Well, It'd be well, weeks the first, worth of watching. The first couple seasons were long. Yeah. Like, this season has been all like 25-ish minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then the last season was like 45-ish minutes. So, like, but and then we, but before that, they were, like, some of them were, like, an hour, hour and a half. Because we only put them out every two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you're thinking probably on average, probably I'd say 40 minutes an episode. All right. It's a lot. It's a lot of time, man. Dude, a that's lot of time. a lot. That's, like, 120 hours. A lot of time would be invested. Dude, what's your favorite episode? Uh, This one right here. Oh, me too. Jonas. Yes. Opaloka City, Florida. Is this really in Florida? This is a real, actual Florida story. Opalopa City. O- Opa, O-P-A, Laka, I guess. Opa Laka. Okay. Opa Laka City. Seven years ago, Jonas. Dun, dun, dun. This was like. This is the only city in the, in the United States that passed the law. Okay. That you could be fined if you had your pants sagging. Oh. If you walked around with sagging pants, somebody could say, no, officer, his pants are sagging. Like left your belt at home. You can't do that in Opaloka. You can't do it Is there. Is that a racist town? Wow. Okay. I mean, sure. I'm sorry. It wasn't It wasn't uh, seven years ago. It was 13 years ago. Oh, wow. This is happened like. Happened in 2007. Oh, that was a lot. Dude, this is like 13, before smartphones. Yeah. 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 So, so now you can take pictures and be like, officer, I found this man with sagging pants. <laughs> right. So just recently, it came up again, city council. It was voted four to one that this law should be re- repealed yes. because it did disproportionately target young black men. Yeah, I can see that. And it's basically just saying you can't dress the way we like. <laughs> yeah. Well, why do you think I actually feel it was a racist town? <laughs> yeah, like, it I seems be, that way, I would right? Be very, uh, very much want to do a test of like, you you go out, you send a bunch of white kids down with their pants sagging into downtown for a night, see how many tickets they get. No. Send a bunch of black males down there, see how they how many tickets they get. Compare that ish, dude. It's, it's not even that, Jonas. It's, it's more like you're saying that you're basically just saying that you can't wear the clothes you want to wear. What if they outlaw wife beaters, Jonas? What would you do? I would have to throw away my whole closet. You would be, you I would don't. be, you would be, you would be outraged. I would, I would not. I don't. Yeah, you would. You got like a billion wife beaters, Jonas. You're I don't wearing wear one right now. <laughs> I'm wearing two right now, but that's besides the <laughs> yes, point. Yes, you're wearing one as a pair of shorts, which I'm very uncomfortable with. <laughs> yeah, I like to let things breathe. Okay, I like to wear tops as bottoms. This man spreading with your <laughs> with your wife beater shorts oh, on. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> Um, but no, seriously. So if like if they were to outlaw wife beaters, or say they said, you know, we really don't like the way that Carhartt jackets look. <laughs> we don't like we don't like when you wear an ascot. Yeah, like come on. It's honestly. It, you know what would really get it's, me? It's, it's a is little if they much. outlawed hats. Yeah. And that bothers me enough because sometimes I go into places like you have to either have to take your hat off or turn it around. <sighs> 
I don't turn like it that. around uh, is is a little this is that's kind of stupid because you're basically like saying we don't mind hats we just don't like it when you wear it like that and you're like suck my dick that that's a more uh that's a more uh equal comparison it's like you can wear your pants but pull them up yeah you can wear your hat that, but turn it around front that's a suck my dick moment that's a suck my dick moment i'm more i'm more apt to be like all right fine if you don't allow hats in here okay i understand because you can always like get some roundabout bullshit actually my bank is like this jonas this is the only bank that i've ever been to or the only they don't wear hats they, if you walk into the lobby you cannot wear hats and the way they spin it is they're saying oh um, people could come in and rob the bank and they could just have their hat really low so that we can't see their face. And they're like the way our cameras are going. Because believe me, I walked into this bank the very first time I walked in this bank when I first moved here and I had a hat on. And I walk in and they say, sir, you have to take off your hat. And I physically stopped and it was like time froze. Time <laughs> didn't like, freeze for like anybody Zach else. Zach Moore's like, time out. Yeah, it didn't freeze for anybody else. But I stood there. <laughs> For 15 seconds you're just like and i yeah i did too i did i looked at the ceiling and i thought and i was like <laughs> why are they asking me to take like my why are they asking me to take my hat off i looked around nobody else had a hat on i was like okay i saw i saw a dude holding his hat oh okay and that helped like, i'm sure it helped but then again i'm like do i really want to deal with a place that i just can't come in just my natural self like i have to take my fucking hat off i'm like what, who the fuck are you I just want to give. That's my money. You're, you want I'm my giving money? you money that you're gonna make money on. Yeah, and then you're gonna tell me how I can't, Jonas. And then I was just like, okay. I took the hat off and I was like, let's just fucking get down to business, you motherfuckers. I still am unhappy about that, but I don't go inside the bank. So. Yeah, dude, I would uh, not like that. Yeah, I, what? And then you walk in, they're like, sir, you have to take your shirt off. <laughs> sorry no shoes in here we're doing the japanese thing yeah sorry uh you might have a gun in your belt so take your shirt off yeah we're just gonna need you to get nude we're gonna hose you down because you know <laughs> viruses yeah dude we're gonna uh, yeah dude that's really I, weird i just hate it when people police the way that people should dress. I, I hate I that hate too because really like i hate me. like i am a big like i wear shorts all the time yeah. and i hate going places and they're like you gotta wear pants i'm like fuck you I'll wear shorts if I want to. I'll wear yeah. shorts to my funeral if I want to. Yeah. You know, honestly, I, I, I agree with that, too. I can understand, like, if you're having, like, a party and you have a dress code. As long as it's, it's like, even that's kind of fucked up. But, yeah, like, I get that. Well, because here's the thing. Like, I get uncomfortable when I wear pants because I get really hot. Especially in Texas, <laughs> dude. It's 100 fucking degrees. I'm not, I don't want to wear jeans. I wear jeans bro. all the so time. Like, so, like, when I go somewhere and they tell me I can't wear shorts, I literally know the entire time I'm going to be uncomfortable. Because I wear shorts so much that when I do wear pants, I'm extra hot because I'm very unaccustomed to it. Mm. So, like, it's like I'm like, oh, I get to go to this event and wear pants. So, I know I'm already going to be sweating the whole effing time. You get this free ball. That doesn't help me sweating. You can get, like. How does free, what does free ball have to do with It's me, less man? fabric. I figured it helped things breathe. <laughs> you could just wear mesh pants. <laughs> Jonas just has a hot crotch. Just like it, just so on some fishnets at the bottom. <laughs> right. like, These are pants, right? You got a hot crotch, dude. I'm trying a to help you. It has nothing to do with my crotch. I feel like it does have something to do with your crotch. It's like my legs. But dude, are if hot. it was just like your kneecaps down, that was like I just can't stand heated kneecap when and I, shins and I, ankles. It might be, dude. I, I have had numerous people tell me, like partners, that I radiate heat. Like, like if they like sleep next to me, they're sure. like laying next to you is like laying next to a fucking furnace, which is great in a cold weather climate because they're like, oh, I can snuggle up to you because you're warm as fuck. And I, I'm just naturally hot. And the more I trap that heat in, dude, the more, the more uncomfortable I am. And see, I wear jeans like every day of my life. Like I remember when I first moved to Florida. Yeah. And they were like, uh, you aren't going to be wearing jeans in Florida. I was like, the hell I ain't, dude. I was just out there sweating in jeans and <laughs> 125 <laughs> degrees. Yep. Jeans. Then, you know what? I actually caved and I ended up getting shorts. And now that I'm back, you know, a little bit further north, I can wear jeans again. Yeah. I love it. Well, and also here, it's hot, but it's not humid. That helps as well. Uh, yeah. Florida was just like nuts. humidity breathing inside like jeans just makes your whole like whole area sweat. Yeah. Your whole body. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Like, uh, 
And now, but to be honest, here in Texas, now that I've lived here longer and I've got accustomed to the hotter weather, when it does get like into like cooler in the fall and the winter, I will wear jeans now because before, like my my actual body temperature is used to being hotter now. So yeah, 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 dude. It's a, it's. A, I hate being told how to dress. So congratulations to Opaloka for Florida for not being uh, racist assholes. Because that, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Yeah, they probably are just like, we're so sorry. We're so tired of seeing all these young men running around with their pants hanging off their butts. Ooh. I'm just going to make a law to make sure that everybody got pulled their pants up like my grandma almost said. She made easy. You better not show your cakes to anybody out here. Yeah, that's, it's not it's not the the city council or like the government's job to tell me to pull my pants up. That's my, my my mom and or my grandmother. You know, if they tell me to do it, okay, are you the, Are they the only ones you'll listen to if they're like... If, like, you went to your mom's and she was just like, you shouldn't wear that shirt, would you listen to her? Uh, you know, it depends. I would take I would take her critique more seriously than I would if somebody, in, if I was just walking through a mall or something. I know malls, right? Quotation fingers. Yeah, dude. Um, if I was just walking through a mall or something and somebody was like, hey, pull your pants up. I'm not, I'm not listening to you, buddy. You're gonna, <laughs> we're going to fight. We're going to fight. <laughs> wearing your pants down like that. Look at you wearing your pants all the way up around your fucking nipple line, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let them nips breathe. Put them back down a little bit. <laughs> Let them fucking nips breathe in your fucking cargo pants, you piece of shit. I'm just why saying. Why you got to be cargo pants, dude? I'm just saying. It's like, I just don't understand why people even. I've never understood why people had a problem with sagging pants in the first fucking place. It doesn't make sense yeah, to me. Yeah, me neither. It's just it's a fucking. It's how a person dress. It doesn't show intelligence. It doesn't show lack of intelligence. It shows you nothing. It shows you that they put some clothes on and they Maybe fit. it's more comfortable. It, it 100% is, Jonas. It's 100% more comfortable. If I want pants trapped in my waistline, or I just want them hanging off my cakes, dude. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. it supports the cakes, man. It's like a, it's like, it's like a butt bra. A butt bra. Yeah, because you have the belt on, and then it supports your butt cheeks a little bit, and then your ass can breathe a little bit. It's nice. You should try it. I have sagged. You, you, you have sagged. Oh, yeah, dude. Back in the day, I used to sag my pants. <laughs> I've sagged. <laughs> I've sagged, dude. <laughs> well, Jonas, put your black fist up right now, sir. <laughs> Go paint your fist black and put it up here. Aww. Is that is that racist black fisting? Is that black fisting? Is that a thing? <laughs> that sounds, sounds like a video on a site. Rachel Dolezal? <laughs> I don't know what that is. That is the lady who pretended to be black. There's another one that did that too, but we, you know, we can do that in another episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. There's there's a lot of racism what, and weirdness going on out there. <laughs> um, well, so you got something? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got some, dude. I got, I got some too, dude. We can... I got this. This might be a quickie. Fine. So uh, there is a company. Uh, I wrote. I had this story a long time ago. It's just kind of a leftover, so I don't uh, know who did it. But they have a. They've developed a lickable screen. No oh, Jesus! Like it's like a it's like a thing, not like for a phone. This sounds like a great idea in a pandemic, Joe. But uh... <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a. Uh... So basically, they can they can recreate any flavor using the five sensors on this device. Okay, cool. I actually like that. But and uh, once again, it has it has a it has a sensor for sour, sweet, bitter, salty, and umami. Umami, dude, that's MSG. Um, Umami's delicious. And too. Uh, it's a Nuramaki synthesizer. Mm -hmm. There's uh there's five gels that come out of the tip of it, and they say that they can recreate any flavor. Using these ge different amounts of these gels. That's um, pretty cool. So, like... Does it got, have calories? It, that, well, that was my thing. I di it didn't say. Okay. But my thought was... Well, one, if it's, if it's, uh, if it's ca not calorie-based. But here's the thing. I think sometimes when people eat... When they're not hungry, they really are just craving flavor. Oh yeah, I definitely want flavor. So like, if you could develop something like that would taste like flavors but not have any calories, yeah, it, it could help. It could help the. It could help a revolutionary <laughs> diet. We were talking about this. Uh, yeah, we like flavor about strips. This before. Yeah, because we were talking about like when they had like those uh, listerine breath strips that for some reason you don't see them anymore. I don't know what why that is. Cancer. Probably, yeah, probably, dude. but they did have like the breast strips, and you just put them on your tongue, and they desire they're basically like legal acid, and they made your breath smell better. Quotation fingers. Yeah, dude, I tripped balls off those a couple times. Kappa took, took them dude, those those Listerine strips. Woo! Took them. Didn't know what day it was till Thursday. 
Saw some dragons eating unicorns and shit. Wow, I didn't know that Listerine was into acid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making things up. I don't know what acid is. No, right. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, it'd be great if they would have done like that same idea of like those bread strips and just made it taste like fucking ice cream. Oh, dude, make like it taste steak like, dinner. Uh, like I a feel meat like strip dinner. <laughs> I feel like you're getting too deep into like Willy Wonka territory when you start doing that. Though I guess it's like it's, a three course meal. Like oh, it's a tomato <laughs> soup. It's like a torn right down the throat. Oh, here comes brick. Here comes dessert. You know, like yeah. you're turning violet, violet. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, I mean, I get it. And it's funny because we just watched that uh, the media, the media mocks that we just did, where like they had pills for for, and they were like, "Oh, this pill tastes like oh, yeah, ice it cream. Tastes like, it tastes like molasses cakes." And I was like, "That'd be great if I could just get like a tiramisu pill, and it just like it felt like I ate tiramisu cake." I don't even know what tiramisu is. It's a it's a cake. Oh, nice, Italian dude. Italian dessert. I've it's, probably had it before. It's I just called it good stuff. Yeah, it has like cookies and stuff in it. Oh shite. Yeah. yeah, dude. So I don't know, man. Like, I would definitely <laughs> take some flavored gel, dude. I would fucking gorge on gel, dude. <laughs> I just have <laughs> just get a, tube, a tube of tiramisu gel, and you're just oh, like sucking my it down. God. Like, I just have a mason jar full of gel, and I just be hand fisting it like, like Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Poo, just yeah, fucking. dude. <laughs> just snacking gel down, dude. <laughs> Come in. You, know, you walk out of your room. You just got gel caked in your face. All up in your beard. It's crusted. You're just like, it's just so fucking good, dude. Just, just open up the cupboard and there's just like gogurt packages. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking. Just, just calorily count. Dude, if they had like gogurt packs that were just flavored gel with no calories I mean, and tasted really good, I would seriously is, consider it. Isn't gogurt just the flavored it has gel? calories though. Yeah, but isn't it just a flavored gel? Yeah, dude. When you think about it, peanut butter is this flavored paste. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the jelly is this flavored gel. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. I wonder if gelatin has calories in its own self. It's uh, just horse hooves, right? I imagine so. It has like bones in it and stuff, so. Who yeah, knows? dude. You ever sucked on a horse hoof? <laughs> Jonas, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> not, not, not in like a joking way either. Like really like physically injured. If I'm life. not around next week for the podcast. <laughs> Welcome to TNT's talk show. How are you? Uh, Jonas, there may be life on Venus. Uh, oh, I saw that, did dude. You? So, yeah. they, so they're saying like something released in like the rings is indicative of the reaction that is something produced by life. Though I don't think it's like like aliens <laughs> or anything. No, it's probably like microbes or whatever. You know what's crazy, Jones, is that like whenever I hear anybody bring up Venus, it always takes me back to like fourth grade when I did like a report on Venus. Yeah, it's hot as fuck, dude. It's hot as fuck and the gravity is so intense on Venus that it like... Like if you if we were to touch, we'd be flattened to the size of like less than a millimeter in like a heartbeat. Right? Yeah. Not to mention that we wouldn't even be able to get through the atmosphere because it's it's the hottest planet and it's the second one from the sun. That should tell yeah. you how fucking hot it yeah, is. Yeah. But they're saying it's like in the rings. There's potentially something that is living in the rings. And Carl Sagan is even oh the said, cloud cover on Venus. Yeah. So so yeah. Uh, Carl Sagan has even said that there's probably something in the gaseous. Uh, clouds outside. That's of it. like alive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're they're thinking that may be the case, or it may be some unknown chemical reaction. They say that's actually more likely than there being life, but they have right, to take into fuck, consideration all options. Eating. Have they ever seen through the cloud cover to see what Venus actually looks like? Uh, I don't know if we have anything powerful enough to to do so. Because that cloud cover is like thick, dude. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's pretty. So like, for all we know, there's dense. a big old fire fire boys living on Venus, dude. They're like <laughs> running around playing fire Olympics, dude. Playing just, fire football, got little devil horns and shit. Just an entire race of Shaggy and Scoobies getting high. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the the Gorgons from Zoinks. Zelda. <laughs> like the, that's where they got the Gorgons from. They're actually people who live on Venus. Yeah, could be, could be. <laughs> Dude, speaking of uh, that, uh, I think they uh, they keep hearing that signal in space. That that like they've had that. Uh, I haven't heard of this. It's a uh, it's repeating like radio wave frequency or something. Yeah, and I've seen numerous headlines about it over the last I don't know year or so maybe, and it keeps it keeps like coming at like a uh, 
fairly consistent rate, like, but not like it was like the first time they'd ever found it more than once, and then now they've it keeps kind of happening every like so often, and it's mm. like a radio type blast. It's getting closer. <clears throat> yeah, dude. Maybe the warning. Way. Maybe the warning of imminent doom. <laughs> dude, I mean, if you think about it, we got we had like we got the whole West Coast on fire. Yeah. In the Atlantic Ocean, there was five tropical systems at the same time for the first time, mm. for the second time ever in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. So global. We got, there's like rainstorms happening in the Arctic. Yeah, yeah. Shit is weird. Oh, so we're going to blame this on aliens and not global warming. No, no, no. I'm just saying shit is weird right now, dude. So like, we're, so if we're, aliens we're, came in 2020, would you be like, <laughs> oh, you mean just the fact that it's a culmination of all the shit that could possibly, let's just keep going. Just, just double down on 2020. Give us aliens. Yeah. Did you see that they uh that the UFO sighting that happened in New York? No. Or it was in Jersey. So like hundreds of people saw this unidentified flying object in New York. It was circular in shape, and it had like a bright light on it. And people were like getting off the road and like taking video of it. There's tons of video oh, okay. of this thing. Turns out it was just a fucking Goodyear blimp. It was over the fucking uh, the football field as well, or baseball field. I can't remember. But yeah, it was. A did good the year, lights but... read "Ice Cubes a Pimp"? They did not say that, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, but I don't know, Jonas. I think global warming is one hundred percent, you know, our doing because we ain't showing any signs of stopping oh, the yeah, emissions. Oh yeah, uh, well, <laughs> and here's the problem: like I, I've seen other things that are like, even if we fixed everything today, oh, yeah. we're almost too far past. So oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, it's going to take... Uh, but that's expensive. You'll be dead before that matters. Yeah, dude. We'll see here. And here's the thing. Like, <clears throat> before it gets out of control, unless we probably will be dead. Uh, Yeah, unless you live in California and your house is burnt. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, uh, the big uh, earthquakes come. Or, <laughs> but like, it's or like, your coronavirus, in which case, you know. Yeah, yeah. The next yeah. virus is going to be like, oh, these are perfect conditions for me to proliferate. Yeah, right. But, like, yeah, it's just crazy that there's, like, uh, all this different stuff coming, going on all at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah, man, we're killing, we're killing ourselves. It's all good. Yeah, well, that's what they say with the Fermi Paradox. <laughs> you either, you either, every, every, uh, every uh, living thing hits a point where they either surpass <laughs> or they wipe themselves out. You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's amazing to me that, piggybacking off of that, is, like, how we are basically, like, just children. We're, we're basically babies. Who, humans in general? Humans in general. On a grand scale, if you look at the way a baby interacts with the world, and then you look at the way, like, an adult human interacts with the world, on a grand scale, it's the same fucking thing. We're suicidal, Jonas. We do suicidal things all the time. The way that certain people drive their cars. The, yeah. The way, that, the way that we treat our environment. It's like... <laughs> You do realize that if you pull that socket, you could get electrocuted, and you do realize that if you continuously drive these types of vehicles, letting off emissions over the years, that you could endanger the planet for your grandchildren. No, we don't care. Yeah, we all have a very Fuck much, it. uh, what's it doing for me now mindset. Yes. The way we just throw tent temper tantrums at, I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the grocery store. I could wear a mask one hour, but I don't want to. Yep. It, we're children. We're yeah, children. We we're, we're babies. We're babies. Yeah, dude. You know. We don't even realize, dude. It's like, it's like, does the ant know that the freeway is being built over there? It does not, Jonas. It only knows what's going on in its own anthill. Yeah. Yeah. There's a freeway being built out there that we have no idea about, Jonas. Yeah, dude. Because we're this. too concerned about our granules of sand. It's the uh, supersonic highway in space, dude. They're building it without us because we're on here fighting over fucking pieces of cotton. <laughs> Basically, yeah, dude. All right, man. That is all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've done that, dude, uh, Crazy Town Media on YouTube, he does Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. It's Twitch TV. Yes. And for Jonas, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are out. Of